Hi, and thank you for joining us in this episode of Ask the Sioux. Today we're going to describe a little bit about an unusual cloud formation called Mammatus and its relationship to severe weather. Before we get into the specifics of talking about the Mammatus clouds, I want to do a brief refresher on the different types of thunderstorms that cause severe weather in the area. The first and most common type is the single cell severe thunderstorm, also known as the pulse storm, and they generally last between 20 to 25 and as much as 45 minutes. We see these most often in the summertime when we don't have a whole lot of wind shear, but there is quite a bit of heat and humidity. These thunderstorms are best known for producing hail up to maybe the size of one inch in diameter, some downburst winds 60 to 70 miles per hour at times, and rarely a brief tornado. The area that's covered by the severe weather in these storms is not very great. Multi-cell severe thunderstorms are a little more organized. They tend to form in lines or clusters, and they can last anywhere from one to several hours. They can produce winds, in the worst case, up to 90 miles an hour when they form something called a derecho. They also can be responsible for hail that's up to the size of golf balls in the worst case, and they can produce tornadoes within their lines. A supercell severe thunderstorm, on the other hand, is a highly organized thunderstorm, much different from the garden variety pulse thunderstorm. They have the capability of producing tornadoes, some of them strong, damaging hail as large as softballs, and strong downdrafts which can exceed 100 miles an hour, causing an awful lot of wind damage. As you can see by the image here on the left, they can have overshooting tops that extend up above 50,000 feet in the worst cases. And they have a lot of other structural clouds within the supercell. One of those particular structure clouds is the Mammatus clouds, which we'll be learning about next. So let's get to the question at hand. Are Mammatus clouds a sign of severe weather? Now, Mammatus clouds are some of the most photogenic phenomenon in weather. You can see here these pictures with all the different colors because of the sunlight angle shooting off the bottoms of those clouds. Why do we get Mammatus clouds? Well, Mammatus are often formed beneath the anvil of a thunderstorm. The highest clouds in the mature thunderstorm will take the shape of an anvil top and beneath the anvil top is where most often you'll see those mammatus clouds. You can get them on the front or the back end. As is typical with thunderstorms, warm moist air gets carried into the updraft but eventually loses momentum and spreads horizontally into the anvil cloud. This air becomes cooler and denser than the surrounding air and begins to sink below the anvil. Most observations of these unique clouds are limited to serendipitous photo opportunities. With little in-depth research, there are many theories regarding formation. The simplest explanation from a mattice formation is the sinking of moist cloudy air into drier air beneath the anvil. This can be shown by the blue arrows in this schematic. Now differences in warming between the descending moist air and the dry air surrounding the area can cause the subcloud layer to destabilize and overturn. That allows the mammatus cloud to get a rounded shape and then they can start to bulge beneath the anvil because of the difference in temperature. They are essentially upside down clouds. Because mammatus are often seen below the anvil of mature thunderstorms, onlookers often wonder if they indicate impending severe weather. Severe weather is not necessarily imminent when viewing mammatus clouds. And here we explain why. In this schematic, the storm is actually moving from left to right, so visible mammatus could actually be located on the back side of the storm after the strongest weather has passed. You may also be viewing it from an angle. Mammatus looking clouds can also be seen with other cloud types that are not directly associated with thunderstorms. In this example, you can see some low-level wave clouds. Thank you for joining us. 
And please don't forget to leave your questions on our Facebook and Twitter accounts. Have a great day.